and thank you for clicking into this video. Thank you if you always watch my videos and you've come back for this one and welcome to my channel if you're completely new here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of this. So this is the brand new Caroline Hirons Skin Care The Ultimate No Nonsense Guide book and I received this Friday late afternoon, I ordered it, pre-ordered it through Amazon, and I read the entire thing back to front by Monday morning. Now, it was only after I read this book that I thought, wow, I kind of need and want to tell people about it because I think it's incredible. I don't want to spoil this review, I've never done a book review before, but I can tell you now that I'm a big, big fan. So if you've come here looking for someone that isn't a fan of this book, that isn't this video. The first question people might have about this book is, what is it all about? Now, I think the title is quite obvious, but just in case, this book is about, firstly, skin. Why do we have skin? What's its function? The different layers of skin. But even though it's quite sciencey in the beginning, and throughout, to be honest, it's really easy to understand. And that's all down to the way Caroline writes. She writes as she speaks, but you can really tell her personality throughout it. It's actually, even though it's so informative, it's really funny as well. But the bulk of the book is about skincare, and there's no arguing about that, really. It's about skincare routines, choosing the right products for you, skin types, how to acknowledge your skin type, what products to use, what products not to use, and where to invest in your skincare routine. But in a nutshell, this book is basically giving people the knowledge and the power to understand their skin. Something that really stood out to me in the advert that Caroline did on TV was, you might know your skin, she says, but I do. And I thought that was so powerful because so many people just don't understand it. When actually, broken down in a book like this, it's so easy to get your head around. You just need someone like Caroline to tell you about it. Um, so I really think this gives everyone the knowledge and the power to understand their skin first and foremost, and then better look after their skin is the next step. She really breaks down like what kind of routine you should be using, what you should, shouldn't be using. And then the next step after that is when you understand your skin and you want to look after it, is choosing the right products that are worth your money and going to actually give you the results you need instead of just, um, at the moment, I think a lot of people just buy things based on marketing and don't actually know if it's any good for them, but they're just believing the hype around products. But this book is just a powerhouse of skincare knowledge that you just want to soak up and put inside your brain, which you can, because you can read it, and that's why I want to read it again. And I think even though it's got so much information in there, it would be great for someone if they know loads about skincare or they don't know anything at all. So most of you who have clicked into the video will probably know who Karen Hirons is, but just in case you don't, I'm going to do a quick little rundown of who she is and why she's probably created a book like this. So Caroline is a UK skincare blogger. She had one of the first and best, in my opinion, skincare blogs that she's had for years and years and years, but she's also a fully trained, advanced, Aesthetician. I always pronounce that wrong, sorry if I have. And she's got, I think, over three decades worth of experience in beauty retail, but she's also been an advisor to um, skincare brands. So she is very well known and often coined as the Oprah of the skincare industry. So that kind of shows how respected she is, how much she knows, and she's really well known for her kind of no-nonsense attitude and hence the no-nonsense book. She says it how it is. If you ask her a question, question, ask her a question, she's always going to give you um, an honest answer. And I think that's why she's kind of gained such a mass of followers because people just want honesty, especially when it comes to skincare. And she gives it to them and she's honest and open and that really translates in this book as well. Okay, so now let me show you the actual book. So we've got Karen Hirons on the front, skincare in this kind of camel camouflage, which Caroline is very, very well known for. And I love the bright colours. I think when it comes to skincare, things can also almost be quite clinical sometimes. So it could have been quite easy to go down that route. But I think the bold colour just kind of represents her kind of bubbly, authentic attitude, um, which I think is really, really good. And um, then you've got the ultimate no nonsense guide and the kind of same echoed on the side. Then on the back, you've got pictures of Caroline. These are step by step guide images, which you also see throughout the book, which is so, so helpful. Then you've got skin is the foundation. Then I'll read the back to you. So it says, Karen Hirons knows skin. An established industry expert and facialist, she knows what works, what doesn't, what you need, and most importantly, what you absolutely do not. And I think that's something that kind of rings true throughout. She's not scared to just say, that's 
rubbish, or don't do that, which I think a lot of people just don't say enough. This book will show you how to choose the right product for your skin based on your age, skin concerns, and budget. Whether you're a skincare pro or find yourself completely overwhelmed by the volume of information out there, this book is for you. Where to start, building a routine, ingredients to look for, things to avoid, it's all here with written without nonsense. And I think that comes on to my first point that I really do believe this could be for anyone. So whether you are a young teen that has never touched a cleanser or a moisturiser in your life, um, you could read this and understand it, kind of know, oh, do you know what? I know where to start, I understand skincare, I know why I should look after my skin. So that's why I think this would be a great gift. Um, for someone who's, who wants to get into makeup. Because one thing that I loved in the book was what Caroline said, that her mum said that she couldn't have makeup until she learned how to look after her skin. I thought, oh my God, when I'm a mother, I'm definitely gonna do that. But I even mentioned it to my niece, who's 11, and I said, you can have makeup when you look after your skin. And I thought, I'm already kind of regurgitating what's in this book. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of go through the sections and talk to you a little bit about why I like them, things that I would perhaps want more of as well. The first place you come to is the introduction. And the introduction kind of gives you a little bit more background to Caroline, her career, how she got to where she was, but also her family. And I love the fact that she explains that her mum and her mum's mum also worked in the beauty industry with her nan working for Cody. I just think it's a really lovely thing to learn a little bit more about her and kind of puts into perspective just the wealth of beauty knowledge she's got, not from just herself, but also her family as well. I think this is a great introduction to the book as well, because even though I knew a lot of this stuff from reading Caroline's blog or hearing her talk, anyone who doesn't actually know who she is and is just picking this up off the shelf because they want to know about skincare, from the get-go they know how much hard work has gone into her career, how much she's done, how experienced she is, how knowledgeable she is, just learning about, I didn't actually know, you know, his story of having children and trying to, you know, educate yourself and progress your career while trying to do so many things. And I thought that's really inspiring as well. Um, so I think this just really puts into perspective how knowledgeable and how much expertise she's got to continue reading this book and really trusting and believing what she's saying. The next section you go into is how skin works. And this is quite a science-y section, but even though it's science-y, it's really, really easy to understand. It kind of talks about what the skin is, why we've got skin. It talks about the epidermis and the dermis, which are different layers of the skin. Caroline does a really great job at really making things easy to understand. And it's not only in the words that she uses, but also in the way that the book is laid out. It's actually really well thought of. So she uses um, bullet points just to kind of condense things information and make it really easy to kind of read quickly and she also uses um, subheadings so you can quickly browse it but she also bolds certain sentences that are particularly important so it just helps you to navigate the page understand it and take out the really key important information another thing you'll see throughout the book is graphics that show exactly what she's trying to say in text so just another level of just trying to make sure someone can really really understand what she's saying which is great especially if someone doesn't know anything about skin sometimes pictures are much easier to kind of understand the text is. Another thing that's worth noting is in the book is very inclusive. It's got a section here for skincare for skin tones, but as well throughout the entire book, it references whether you've got light skin or dark skin and what you should do, what you should change. So I think that's a really, really great thing. Now, when I turned the page to this section and saw a good skincare routine, I was a bit like, oh, I thought I was going to learn about skin types. So I now know, reading on, that skin types do come, but they come a bit later. But personally, I was ready to read about skin types sooner, just because I thought, right, I've learned everything about skin. Skin types seem the natural next step for me. Now, I'm sure there is rhyme or reason to why it comes later, because it is kind of paired with um, choosing products. But for me, I kind of thought I would have been reading about it sooner. Now, I'd say the skin routine section is one of the probably most bulky sections of the book, and that's because it covers a very extensive area. It starts off by explaining what a routine is, what the basics of a routine, but also sharing like tips for great skin, which is very, very helpful, especially if someone is new to skincare, doesn't really know where to start. This is something that carries on throughout the book. It's kind of just breaking it down. Like, look, if you don't have much time, if you don't have much money, this is what you can do. It, skincare isn't just for people who've got a spare hour at the end of the day or a very big disposable income. Another thing I really want to mention is the quotes on the side of the pages. So 
even my boyfriend, as I was reading this, would lean over my shoulder and actually like laugh at some of the quotes. They are completely Caroline Hirons. This is one of my favorite ones. If you would spend more on a bag than your face, you're reading the wrong book. But some of the other ones I really like are, um, if, you, if your partner prefers you with makeup, then get a new partner. And I just think, it's completely her, like at every stage of the book. It's definitely, definitely not ghostwritten. You know it's 100% her. Now this section is broken down into smaller sections. So you've got skincare routines as the overall umbrella. We've also got a morning skincare routine in there and an evening skincare routine and the steps that those sections should have. But the other thing that I really, really love is that it kind of has skincare myths kind of littered throughout it, which some of them are very, very, very funny. This section also includes step-by-step -step pictures of Caroline using the products, and I love that it's actually Caroline. I know it seems really obvious, but I don't know, I feel like some of the brands or some of the people might have, you know, models or, or someone else doing this, whereas I think it just feels so much more authentic and more Caroline, the fact that it's here. Um, then it also moves on in this section and throughout other sections with Q&As taken from either Caroline's blog or frequently asked questions her audience ask her. So for this one, it's about SPF and she just runs through some common questions she always gets asked and answers them, which I think is really, really useful. After that, it goes on to an evening routine and it talks about the product switches you should make in the evening, the products that make more sense, and it goes on to how much product you should use. And this is a question I know loads of people have, and Caroline has made it really, really easy. She's even done pictures to show how much you should actually use, which I think is so helpful, but she's broken it down by product. And then she goes on to applying product. You can tell, like, she goes into so much detail it's not just you should use this and you'll get this it's you should use this because of this and apply it like this and do it like this it's honestly jam-packed and I'm not going to blabber on through this section too much because that's why you need to get the book to completely read it but what she does then is go through routines for different circumstances and different people so for example she talks about a routine for dry skin or if you're going to the gym what else we've got when we go to a festival and then again skincare myths and throughout each section she does have little boxes with try these now sometimes the try these um, recommendation boxes will be product specific but most of the time what i've seen is they're either ranges or brands which i love no point at all throughout this book did i feel like i was getting sold anything i felt that i was getting told information i was never being sold products and i think that's why even though those little boxes are really helpful um if the selling isn't the be all and end all of this book it's just to inform people and educate people which is very good again to make things even easier at the end of this section carolyn breaks down again what people in certain age categories should be looking to do with their skin routine. So she's got 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. So you could come to this book and be in your 20s, I'm in my 20s, and go away feeling like, right, I completely know this is what I should likely be targeting. Because throughout it as well, Caroline does kind of make a point of saying, look, just because something works for me and just because I say something doesn't mean you should stop doing what's working for you. She's quite honest in that sense that she says like, you do you and if you wanna do that, do it. But this is what I've got to say, um, which I think is quite refreshing. Okay, let's move on to the next section because I feel like I'm rambling a lot. Now this section is what it says on the tin. It's a section that explains different skin types and skin conditions, but it doesn't just explain what they are. It really helps us to understand them and understand how we can choose products for them and the differences between them as well. One thing that I think is really helpful is the use of imagery again, but again, they're broken down. Things are put into boxes just to make it really easy to read and they are um, got subheadings again, just to make things as easy to digest as possible because of course, this book is kind of saturated with information. Now, this section was the section I enjoyed reading the most just because I just love to understand my own skin type. So I was kind of just eating it all up, wanting to learn all of it. Um, and I love the fact that it goes into different skin conditions as well. Like it's got eczema and I've got eczema. So I really wanted to just sponge up all of that information. I think the only thing I would say is that I would love to have read more. Um, I know this book is already 300 odd pages, but um, I, I finished reading some sections. So I'm like, oh, I'd love to read more from Caroline on that. Um, but I understand there's only so much you can put in a book. And this section covers pretty much anything and everything. So whether you've got acne or eczema or rosacea 
or what you think is normal skin after eating this, you'll think, well, actually that doesn't exist or Caroline says it doesn't exist. So it's very interesting and it gives people a lot of knowledge and power about their skin in order to make a better informed choice on the skincare that they wear. So the next section is three, when life happens. And as you can probably guess, this is all dedicated to anti-aging, but Caroline takes a really refreshing attitude towards anti-aging and she just kind of says like, look, don't be worried about aging. We should all be happy to have the opportunity to age, which I think is a really great attitude to have. It kind of talks about the aging process, how it affects your skin, the changes that you can expect, which I think a lot of people don't actually talk about. I think marketing jargon we get almost always is prevent, 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 but nobody actually informs so women understand the changes they're gonna get, and especially when it comes to menopause and things like that. But that's a completely different video. But it also talks about not only aging, but the other changes that can affect your skin. So puberty, pregnancy, which is great knowledge, especially the puberty section, because I think this would be a really good book to give to someone on their like 11th birthday to really give them the knowledge to help and understand their skin. Another section I enjoyed reading was the section about spots, um, because it's something that always comes up in my friendship group. Should you pop a spot? And Carolyn actually gives a way to pop a spot, but I'm not gonna, not gonna tell you it. You'll have to read the book. And I think this section especially, how to pop a spot, really put into perspective for me the fact that this book isn't frills. It's a no-nonsense, straight-talking guide to skincare. It's not meant to sugarcoat things because Caroline says, as much as any dermatologist will tell you not to pop a spot, the fact is that you do. We do, you know you do. And I think, I just love that, the fact that she's not trying to sugarcoat things. She's saying like, look, it's probably not ideal, but if you get it, this is what you're gonna do. And she does that in other sections as well, um, especially when it comes to like talking about face wipes. We know, all know, or most of us will know that Caroline Hirons hates face wipes, um, but she doesn't sugarcoat things. And I think that's why she's got such a huge audience. So the next section is your kit. And this is all about products. So it's either products that you should use per age category, or per skin type, and then it breaks down products, what they are and what their uses are. But it doesn't just touch the surface of, for example, acids. It then breaks them down even further and kind of talks about the different types of acids, which skin types they are best suited for. So you don't just get like surface level information, she really, really breaks it down. And this covers like everything. It talks about SPFs, retinols, acids, and then it kind of goes on to little smaller sections, which talks a bit about dupes and the products that she really doesn't like, which is a bit juicy. She doesn't name names, but a lot of the time you kind of know who she's talking about, um, and the products that she thinks are no good and shouldn't be in the industry. And the next section is called Welcome to the Industry. And what this section is, is basically a welcome to the skincare industry. It helps break down a lot of terminology. So for example, hypoallergenic, it tells you exactly what that means, why brands use it, what their um, intention is to use that product. And I think what this section is all about is kind of helping people to kind of be a fully informed consumer. So helping you to shop better and have the knowledge to buy products that you understand what their intentions are, what their use is, what you're going to get from them, or perhaps as well, what you shouldn't buy or what you shouldn't believe. I think it, it stirs up a lot of questions and that's what definitely rang true with me. Another thing this section does is talk about clean beauty, it talks about um, natural, the term natural in skincare. It's really, really interesting, especially if you work in this industry like I do, I found it really interesting to read. Another thing I found really interesting is kind of decoding your skincare bottle. I think a lot of people probably, again, look at the front and think, oh, what amazing, a hyaluronic acid serum. But what Carolyn is saying to do is turn around, look at the ingredients and see how much that percent is, what other ingredients are in there, kind of talking about what certain ingredients are and how, where they come on the label really is important. So again, just a lot of knowledge and a lot of power. Knowledge is power. And um, she's definitely giving that so people can be a better consumer and buy things that work for you and you're not wasting your money on. This section is all about just decoding things and making sure that everyone understands what they are because you might see them on a product page or on the back of a product. And this includes parabens, which I think people need a lot more education about. People are often scared of them, but actually don't know why they're 
actually pretty needed in skincare. And clinical trials is something that I thought was really important in here because you read it on um, product descriptions on websites, but a lot of people don't actually know which ones are better, which ones you should look out for. And that kind of is the end of the book, even though there are kind of a few chapters after. So the chapters that follow are a glossary. So throughout the entire book, any terminology that you're unsure of, you can kind of go back to the um, back of the book and find them in the glossary and you just find loads of um, kind of technical words in skincare um, really decoded and explained so you can fully understand. So if you're a skincare buff like I am, this section will very much please you. I love coming back here and just kind of making sure that I'm like swatted up on all skincare terminology. She's also gone a step further than just doing a glossary for terminology. She's also done it for brands. Now, really, really common brands, she said, won't be found here, but the brands that are commonly asked by her audience to her, she's popped in here. And you've got some of the information about when they were founded and where you can shop them. You've also got a sources section, so you can see where she got all the information from, which I think is really important because it's something she talks about throughout the book in terms of brands not giving that information. So I think it's really good that she has. Um, you've also got an index and about the author, which is what I referenced. Well, to be honest, I kind of knew it anyway at the start of the video. And a little thank you page was really cute. And do you know what? When I was reading like, the back thank you page, I got a little bit emotional. And I don't know if it's because I'm hormonal or what, but I think it's because like I've followed Caroline for so long. Like, I've read all of her stuff. I watch her on This Morning. Like I watch her Instagram Lives. At, I think they're five o'clock every day, aren't they? But like whenever I get that notification, I'm there, I'm watching. And I think the community she's made is amazing. But I think the thing that when I finished this book resonated with me the most is the fact that this book isn't for her. It's not a book that she's just put out um, because she wants to release a book. Like she said herself, like if she wanted to release a book, she could have done like years ago. But this book truly is for her followers, her audience, and to help people with their skin. Because I think, you know, she talks about like acne in this book of how like debilitating it can be for people. And like, I don't never had acne, but I've had eczema and that really resonated with me in that sense. And I just think how informative this is and how she thought of everything down to a T, like the information, how that information is laid out, the imagery that goes with it to make sure that everything is helpful. No one can read this book and, and think, oh, I don't actually understand that. That's been a lot, load of gobbledygook. I think everyone could read this and think, do you know what? I've learned something that's going to probably change my skin. Um, and I think that's amazing. Um, so I think I've definitely rambled on so much. I've never, like I said, I've never done a book review before, but I felt really kind of inspired to do this video. So hopefully, even if one of you is curious to go pick up this book, I would highly, highly recommend it. So that's the burning question, isn't it? Would I recommend this book and who would I recommend it to? The answer is yes, I would 100% recommend it. And who would I recommend it to? And that would be everyone, whether you're um, female, male, young or old, whether you view skincare never in your life or you're obsessed with skincare like I am, you will get a use out of this book. You will learn a lot. Um, even though I knew a lot of the things that were in this book, I still took away a lot as well. Like I did learn things I've never known and I also got a lot more detail. And to be honest, as well, if you're just a fan of Caroline, she writes exactly the same way as her blog posts. A lot of the content of this is her blog post, so you will thoroughly enjoy reading it. Even though I've read all the blog posts as well, I didn't feel like I was just regurgitating, like reading something I'd already had. It felt fresh, but it was still the kind of truth thread of Caroline Hirons in it. So there we go, I will wrap up this video now. I really hope I've done this book justice. If you've got any questions on the book, just pop a comment down below and I will make sure to answer it. And let me know as well if you have read it and you've got opinions on it, we can have a chat in the comments. I upload a video every single Monday, so if you're new here, please do subscribe and I will see you next Monday now. Bye!